Hello everyone. Hello. This is Brandon and today what I'm going to do is show you a demo of how a blind user uses an iPhone with the built-in screen reading app called VoiceOver. And Kelly is going to be our demonstrator. Say hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Are you a, and she just got her new 4S yesterday. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in front of her here. And if you want to show people how you move and navigate with VoiceOver. Well, basically, VoiceOver is like Sorry. a... It it's reads whatever's on the screen to you. Yeah. Reminder, new stand folder, zero items. And I just scroll on the screen and when I find it, I contact, um, so she just did a double tap with one finger to open a folder. Now I'm going to go right to open another one. So she opened an app, Contacts. And she's doing this with one finger. So, what we want to do now is I want to show them how you type. Okay. So... All contacts. Back button. Add to favorites. FaceTime. Share contact. But send message. Button. So she's going to double send tap. Send text message. 7, 1, 3, 2, 9, 4. Home. Double tap the no, number. number. And it's going to open a new, new text message. message. Text capital H. W. E. L. Hold your finger. L. Hold your finger there for a second. Lama. So basically she has her finger on the L key and it's pronouncing the letter she's on. Okay, now lift up. And every time she lifts up her finger, it types in the letter her finger was on. Space. Yeah. So she's got her finger on text the... Text message. Text W. E. T. R. It. N. And that little weird, strange, bubbly type sound you hear is w. called autocorrect. E. A. It S. comes into... Con it comes handy. R. Yes, it does. E. R. T. Ernest A. Ernesta. Auto correction G. H. O. W. A. E. R. E. G. Y. O. U. More numbers. So now she's going to go to the question, question mark. mark. And the punctuation is on a different pad. Then the regular letters, you just double tap it. So go ahead and read that, let it read that message out. To Ernesta Atwood, text field, text message, text field, is edited, attach media, but text to Ernesta Atwood. Let it read the text message. Field. Go to the right, let it read the message. Text message, text field, is editing, hello Ernesta, how are you? That was all done using one finger in voiceover. How do you like voiceover? I like it. Yeah, voiceover is great. If we didn't have voiceover, we wouldn't be able to use the iPhone, contrary to belief. Some people seem to think that Siri or voice command allows us to use it. While it may add functionality, that's not how we use an iPhone. Voiceover is the major key component here. If voiceover was not in the iPhone, blind users such as ourselves would not be able to use it, period. I mean, you could use it for the basic stuff, but you couldn't use it to type out a text message or an email. Or you couldn't even go into the app store. So, that's our little video on how to use VoiceOver and the iPhone effectively as a blind person. I hope it answers some of your questions. Yes, I hope it does. And you can also use it for Facebook. You can add contacts. You can delete that's what I'm saying. You, if, if VoiceOver was not in the iPhone, you would not be able to use it very effectively. No. Because, as you just saw, VoiceOver reads us what's on the screen that you read with your eyes. Yeah. And that's how we're able to navigate with an iPhone. And these are two brand new iPhone 4S's and all of Apple's product lineup 
ever since iPhone 3GS has had voiceover accessibility built into them. Alright. It doesn't matter what product it is, a Mac, an iPhone, an iPod, an iPad, Apple TV, all of them have had voiceover accessibility, which is a good thing. So, if anybody has any questions, you can contact either one of us on Facebook, if you know where to look. And, you can, you know, contact us that way, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Well, we can give you our emails. Well, I don't like giving emails out, because some people take full advantage of that and just email you stupid things. Yeah, okay. So, if you want to contact us on Facebook, you're more than welcome to. We'll be happy sure. to answer any questions you may have about VoiceOver and yeah. how blind users use iPhones effectively. So, until the next one, we will see y'all later. Bye-bye.